Junior, sweetie, you'll be taking over our family business since you just graduated from a well-known university, okay? For God's sake, Keiichi, you're such a disappointment to our family. <sighs> so, you started your own business, right? I see you're running things at your company, even if it's not going perfectly. Looks like your business is thriving. Excuse me? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty miserable with your back all slumped like that, big bro. I'm Keiichi Sato, and I'm 24 years old. I work as a freelancer, and I'm gearing up to launch my own business. To save money, I chose to live and work at my parents' house, which my family didn't quite understand. It's about time you left our place and start living on your own. You don't even have a job, and all you do is just go out and have a good time. Dad, I already told you I've been working and I've been helping with the household expenses. I couldn't care less about that. Look. Besides, it doesn't matter what you do if you can't take over our family business. Junior, sweetie. You'll be taking over our family business since you just graduated from a well-known university, okay? Sure, leave it to me. I'll take care of the family business. For God's sake, Keiichi, you're such a disappointment to our family. <laughs> Throughout my senior year in high school, I aced in my practice exams and everyone was sure I'd be heading to a top-notch university. But I ended up getting sick when the exams were happening and missed out on going to my top choice university. I can't even believe it. I put in so much effort to study for the exams, and then I got sick. I know it's not easy, but I'm sure you'll be alright, Keiichi. Thanks, Yui. Are you thinking of taking a gap year and redoing the college entrance exams next year? Nah, I don't plan on doing that. My little bro Junior has got his entrance exams coming up next year, and I don't want to cause any more trouble for my family. Aw, you're so thoughtful. Plus, I've been thinking, and I have this idea that maybe there's something else I could excel in, instead of just focusing on my university. An idea? While attending university, I've been doing some research on my own to make my dream come to life. Interesting. This seems to be the popular demand in the world at the moment. I want to be my own boss and start a business. By piecing together different bits of info, I'm pretty sure I'll ace the credits and secure that scholarship. My goal is to launch my own business, but I gotta gain some experience as a freelancer first. Hmm? I was right all along. My boy Junior is seriously gifted. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie! I couldn't be more proud of you for being accepted into a well-known university. I was concerned how things would turn out for Keiji. But now that Junior has been accepted into a top university, our business is in good hands. Congratulations, Junior. I gotta step up my game too. Hey, haven't seen you all in ages. Hey Keiji, what's up? Reunions are the best because you get to catch up with so many old friends. Have you started thinking about finding a job? Hmm. Well, the jobs out there for my undergrad degree doesn't really match what I'm studying. Yeah, I see your point. I think I can relate to that as well. Keiji, how about you? I'm thinking about starting my own company. Uh, starting your own company? Does that mean you'll be the CEO? It's not that big of a deal, but I'm still getting everything ready to kick off my business. So, this is the plan. Well, it's something like that. Dang! That's cool! Hey, can I help you with that? Seriously? You cool with doing that? Mind if I tag along with you guys? Wow, even you, Yui? Thanks. Thanks to the reunion. I've met some really trustworthy friends. Now, I just need to map out a solid plan and get moving so I can start my own business. <laughs> hmm? What's with all the commotion on the first floor? Um, 
What's happening? Why are there so many people here at our house? Yo, guys. Have a great time and let loose. <laughs> Help yourselves to whatever food and drinks you want, my dudes. Uh, what's going on here, Junior? Aren't you supposed to be in class right now? <laughs> Listen, college isn't all about showing up to classes. I can always catch up on notes from a friend later. Gotta enjoy the college life, you know. But throwing a party during the day is... Bro, the fact that we're in different colleges really highlights how different we are. <laughs> Hold up. What did you just say? Who do you think has a better chance of getting a job? The student at the bottom of my college or the top student of your college? That's... <laughs> well, bro. Good luck with that. <laughs> Keiichi, why aren't you working after graduating college? I told you that I'm already working. I'm also putting money into the house. Just getting everything in line to start a business with my friends. Huh. <laughs> Isn't it just you and your friends hanging out in a friendship club or something? I mean, you're spot on about us hanging out and being buds. But we're also helping each other out and putting in some serious effort to get our business going. Come on, Dad. Chill out with the comments. Junior. Cage is all worked up because he knows I'm going to be the one running our family business. Hold on. That's not what I was getting at. So, you and your friends are going to play pretend and act like you own a business. That sounds pretty sad if you ask me. Keiichi, our sweetie Junior is going to be calling the shots for the family business no matter what you say. So like I said... That's not what I was getting at. My family never understands what I'm trying to say, no matter how I explain it. If we can't see eye to eye, I'll just... It's about time you're moving out on your own. You guys are probably better off without me, right? I didn't say it exactly like that. But if that's how you interpreted it, then I'm okay with it. Hang on. I want to give you a little something as a farewell present. Uh, oh, thanks? <laughs> this ought to be plenty for you to get by. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take care. Uh, man, this is a crucial stage before launching my business. Using all my money isn't an option because I need to have funds set aside for my business. Hmm. What should I do? Oh, I almost forgot. I still have that farewell present he gave me. Wow. Only 3,000 yen. That's all they think I'm worth? I see how it is. That's why I'm hanging out at the internet cafe right now. Wow, that's awful. Are you gonna find a place to stay? Well, things happened real quick. So I might have to stay at a hotel or whatever. But money-wise, it's going to be a struggle. Then, how about you stay at my house? Are you serious? You're cool with me living at your place. My brother barely comes home, and he told me I could use his room whenever I want. Thanks. Don't even think about it. We'll make our dreams happen together. Yeah, I totally agree. Let's give it everything we've got. And that's how I began getting things ready for my business. While staying at Yui's place. Thanks to Yui, Taro, and my friends who truly had my back. I was able to finally get our business off the ground. All that planning definitely paid off because the company is off to a great start. Our business kept getting bigger and in a few years, it was pretty well known. The next project looks like it's going well too, don't you think? Definitely, it is. It's all thanks to everyone's dedication and support. I haven't seen you in a while, bro. Huh. You seem pretty full of yourself. D Junia and Dad! What are you guys doing here? Looks like you've officially caught up to my level. Excuse me? So you started your own business, right? I see you're running things at your company, even if it's not going perfectly. Uh... Sure, if that's what you think. Just so you know, 
I'm more experienced than you, so you can come to me for help. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks, I guess. But I'm good for now. Thanks for offering, though. <laughs> well, whatever. I've caught wind of some gossip. Looks like your business is thriving. Well, yeah. Things are going pretty good so far. I gotta hand it to you. Copying our company and becoming this successful takes some serious guts. I beg your pardon? What are you on about? Our businesses are like oil and water. Oh, come on. Let's be real. Starting a company without borrowing ideas from somewhere is not gonna work. Especially since studying isn't your forte, bro. Studying isn't my forte? I put in a lot of effort, and with my friend's dedication and support, our company became a success. Don't undermine our efforts by saying I'm copying your business so easily. Ugh, why the sudden freak out? Ugh, you ungrateful brat. Dad? The reason why you are successful is because we raised you right. Basically, your company could have been even more successful if we helped out. How could you say that when you were the one who gave up on me, even though I'm your own son? Junya, I heard a rumor that things aren't going so great for your company. No, no way did you just say that. When people get jealous, just like you, it's nothing but trouble. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to be jealous or anything. I just heard about it from some other people. It seems like the past two projects your company worked on were a total flop. <clears throat> Junya, have you been leading those recent projects? I heard you're not as precise as you used to be. That's... I've noticed your customer base shrinking as well. Did you mess up or something? <clears throat> no, I didn't mess up or anything. I'm too smart to make any major screw-ups. It seems like your clients have completely dropped you, huh? Uh, <laughs> it seems like you still have a lot to learn if you can only see things from a short-term perspective. Is that so? But isn't your decision to cut employees for the sake of improving financial numbers a short-term solution? Uh. How did you find out about that? We gather our intel from a bunch of different sources, you see. I had no idea that happened. Looks like you two had your sights set on our company. Since your business was struggling. And that's the reason you guys showed up to see Keiichi at this moment, isn't it? Th that's... Dad, Junior, if you guys needed my help... You should have phrased it in a different way. Forget it. This is ridiculous. Junior, let's go. Uh, okay. Are they really struggling with their business that badly? Oh yeah, quite a bit. All right, I see. Can you tell me more about what you know about their business? That's fine, but are you still worried about them? Yeah, a bit. Dad, why did you accept the takeover bid? There's no need to panic, Junior. This won't affect our company in a bad way. What do you mean by that? All we have to do is make some empty promises, and we'll basically have the company under our control. This way, we'll easily receive funds from them. Oh, I get it now. That's sharp thinking, Dad. I know, right? Oh my. Look who's here. It's our buyer. Ke Keiichi? What are you doing here, Keiichi? Hello. I'm Yoimiya, the CEO of Days Corporation, and we're currently in the process of acquiring your company. Joining me today are Keiichi Sato and Yui Soga, who I know personally. I have requested their presence as advisors due to their familiarity with the situation. Say what? Keiichi is now some big shot advisor for a major company. 
I had no idea he had connections to a huge company like this. You really think you're something special, huh? I suggest both of you to avoid making any extra comments. Keep in mind, whatever you say to me will also be passed on to Day's Corporation. Damn it! Let's begin, shall we? Before we proceed with the takeover, I just wanted to make our positions clear, if that's okay. B before anything else, I was hoping you could hear us out for a moment. Oh? Let's hear it then. Uh, unfortunately, our company is struggling at the moment. But I have a proposition that will help us turn things around and revive our business performance. Hmm? Keiichi, what are your thoughts on this? Well, in all honesty, I have my doubts about any potential business structural improvements since it's still being managed poorly. <laughs> what did you just say? At the moment, Mr. Junya Sato is the one in charge of everything. But he hasn't really bothered to learn the ropes of management, and his eccentric projects are pretty hard to ignore. <laughs> My project ideas may be too advanced for amateurs like you to understand, but to me, they're pure genius. Please pardon my previous statement, allow me to clarify. The projects are poorly planned and seem to have been thought up on a whim, causing employees to feel overwhelmed and confused. What the? Is it that, that what you personally think? Actually, our findings from surveying your employees suggest otherwise. The survey results have been included in the materials provided to you beforehand. You, you asked our employees for their opinions? Uh. All right, I see. It seems we should reevaluate the current management structure of the company. What about you, Mr. Sato, who was previously in charge of the company? Uh, I didn't do anything wrong. The next topic on our agenda is Junya's father, Mr. Rikia Sato. What? It seems like he's leaving the majority of the company's management to Junya and is not heavily involved in running the company. I mean... It's really important to pass the torch to your successor and let him take over your business. I'm not buying it. Sounds like an excuse to me, but... The reality is, you made a huge mistake by leaving it all to him without any guidance. And now, you can't even fix it, can you? <coughs> can you explain that a bit more for me? In the beginning, Rikia seemed to let Junya's idea pass without any serious consideration. But the losses continued to pile up, and he spent some time trying to recover from them. I see. But at one point, he stepped down and let Junya take over again. Dad must have finally realized that I'm way better than him. No, I don't think so. He was going around telling everyone, I can't deal with this anymore. It's not my problem anymore. Uh, Dad! Uh, uh, hey! Let's take a deep breath and try to calm down, all right? There's a rumor going around that he's planning to move to another country to retire and enjoy his wealth. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? That's just a rumor. I heard it was your wife who's been blabbing to everyone about this. If it's coming from your wife, it must be true, since she knows you better than anyone else. <coughs> Dad... Where on earth did you get all that money from? Wait, don't tell me. You're using our company's funds? Uh. Why on earth would you do something like that? Because I thought you were going to do well running our business. But it didn't go as smoothly as I thought. What? I figured out that it was a huge mistake to trust you with that job. But I can't undo it all now. You can't just say stuff like that. That was a really irresponsible comment. Huh. What makes you think you can say that? I don't want to hear it, especially from you. What do you mean? You're the one being irresponsible, not me. You always come up with these impulsive, crazy ideas, and it's everyone else who has to deal with the consequences. 
Um, what? I can't make my brilliant ideas come to life. Because the people around me just don't have the skills to make them happen. Do you honestly think your ideas are brilliant? You think this is all just a big joke? What the heck did you just say? In any case, I can't allow the two of you to continue managing the company this way. S seriously that's really selfish of you. How could you even make that call? Because the CEO of Day's Corporation trusts me to handle the job. Ugh. But no need to panic, you two. What exactly are you trying to say? Since the company's getting bought out, things might change for the two of you. But you guys can still keep your positions as regular employees. C keep our positions as regular employees? Your selfishness is getting out of hand now. Oh, is it? We... No. I've been doing my part for this company for ages. And this... This is definitely not the way to do things. Yes, I see where you're coming from. Good. I'm glad you see my point. But it was your chance to leave the company in Junia's hands, and it turned out to be the most disastrous mistake. But that's... Not providing proper guidance and communicating with him just made that mistake even more worse. Plus, it didn't seem like you were honestly trying to improve your company's performance. After watching how you two spoke to each other, I had no other option but to make that judgment. <gasps> Damn it. How did I mess up? I can't believe they're taking me off management. Might as well quit instead. Exactly. We have our own pride as well. I see. Then, let me give you this little farewell present before you leave. Th thanks Thank you. Well, this is... 3,000 yen! Dad, as you said, this ought to be plenty for you to get by, right? <laughs> I... I can't even believe this is real. Keiichi, you ungrateful jerk. Oh, Junior, sweetie, this is your chance to launch your own business. Huh? If Keiichi could pull it off, I'm sure you can too, honey. You're absolutely right. Hold on. Are you actually serious? I mean, letting Keiichi off the hook wouldn't be right, would it? Yeah, that's true. Once they left the company, Junia and Dad pooled their remaining funds to create a new business venture. But let's be real. A business without any good ideas or planning was bound to fail. And now, they're struggling to keep it afloat. It's kinda sad to see that my family's land is just an empty lot now where our house used to be. How are your parents and Junia doing? Junia's company with Dad completely failed, and now my relatives are saying they're really struggling. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm doing alright. Alright. Shall we make our way now? I feel a bit embarrassed having to greet your parents again. My goal is to form a new family, starting now. Thanks for watching until the end. Subscribe to our channel.